The big debut of the new and improved Citrus Bowl was this week. I think we did catch it. We caught it. Canceled and we'll have to... Democrats, independents, Republicans. Decided to, uh, to try and uh, pursue my goal. The September 11th attacks completely shook America over more than a decade ago. For us to go back and organize students at our universities and show our administration and the operations that renewable energy is here. Turn to UCF Nightly News covering late-breaking stories that affect you and your community. Lake Bortles and running back Storm Johnson. Dedicated to investigating the story and asking the tough questions. From the University of Central Florida campus all the way to Cocoa Beach. We bring you the latest news in all of Central Florida. It looks like a small carnival by day, but by night it transforms into a winter wonderland. Light up UCF! It's Light Up UCF, a 50-day holiday tradition that students wait for all year. It's Christmassy, and I love Christmas. <laughs> and on its season debut, the CFE Arena offered a free night exclusively to students. Here, you can enjoy a 75-foot-tall Ferris wheel, the Light Up Express, the Blizzard, an ice slide, and even a carriage ride. All while music plays to the thousands of lights strung across the CFE arena. And while the light show is bigger and better this year. The most I'm looking forward to ice skating, I haven't done that since last year. The 8,000 square foot skating rink is the fan favorite, where students can glide and dance to the music. So how did this UCF tradition start? We created this about seven years ago as a way to really do something special for students. And we first started talking about the idea of an ice rink out in front of the arena. But he said, oh, you're crazy. We'll never do that. How could we possibly do that? Tony Peluso is the original mind behind Light Up UCF. He says the event took a lot of planning and started with only the ice skating rink. But now, less than a decade later. We're just really proud of it. We're proud to say that UCF does something like this. I think it's such a special thing. There's no other university in the country that can, you know, that can do this. And uh, it's pretty special. And although UCF is in the heart of Florida, students can still enjoy a little bit of snow for the next 49 days. Mary Sue Wynog has owned the Wakaiva Island Bar for more than five years. Now she's facing the challenge of rebuilding after the Riverside Oasis caught fire twice in the past three months. The first was caused by an electrical problem, but Wynog says investigators told her the second was likely set intentionally. Now after owning the bar for so many years, seeing the damage from the fires has been heartbreaking. It was just, it was devastating because by the time we got here, it was nothing left. It, you know, it was burned to the ground. Wynog also says since then life at home has made her uneasy. It was scary because when we got home like the next night we were home and the dog was barking like somebody was in the backyard and it was like it puts you on edge because you think somebody might be out there and you don't know if somebody's out there watching you. Despite the devastation from the fire, Wynog says they are optimistic about the future of Wakaiva Island. As you can see behind me, they are starting to rebuild. And Wynog says that should be complete by the beginning of March. The new bar is being built with fire resistant cinder blocks and sprinklers throughout. Wynog says the island is open for business and she's determined to be bigger and better. Along the Wakaiva River, Claire Davis, UCF Nightly News.